guys, so it has been a week since I've done a review and I'm so sorry, you know, finals really do squeeze the life out of you. Anyway, but today I am here finally with a review, These Broken Stars. These Broken Stars is written by two authors, Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. <laughs> Alright, so These Broken Stars is basically a futuristic version of Titanic, if you want to sum it up in one sentence, but if you want to sum it up in a paragraph or so. Uh, These Broken Stars is basically about a soldier and the daughter of the guy that owns pretty much half of the galaxy, and they're the only two survivors left after their spaceship, literal like a ship, um, kind of crashes. And then they start hearing voices, and then they follow, and they're in an unknown uh, planet, and so then they hear voices, and then they follow the voices to discover something very unexpected, and yeah. So overall, while I was reading this, it kind of felt like it had some sort of supernatural elements to it, since they started hearing voices, and a couple of other things happen, which is pretty cool. But then, in the end, you kind of find out what it actually is, in which it's very interesting. So moving along to characters. Characters, the main characters are Tarver, Mordson, and Lilac. One thing that I absolutely love about these characters is they're not one-dimensional. Amy and Megan really made sure that their characters became very well developed within the span of this book. Lilac, she's very rich and she was brought up in this world that she could basically own anything and everything and her father is super powerful and stuff, but you would not expect her to be super freaking smart. I mean, this girl could like, you could give her like wires and like a broken car and stuff and she could make something pretty amazing out of it. And that's something that Tarver kind of overlooks or underlooks or whatever of her. That's, that's, that's ridiculous how her character is so strong despite the type of world that she grew up in. In which also you understand a couple of other character flaws and, and in which the authors have no shame in showing which is awesome. And also Tarver, he is a soldier. He, I love how his character is very emotional in some ways. He's not always that strong looking guy. He always thinks like he's in the military and that's the only way that actually helps them keep moving forward in which I find that very, very useful. So the plot was great of the story. This book is very slow. Uh, the events that happen develop very slowly. It's not a fast paced read. It's very slow. And you don't really get a lot of action and a lot of fast-paced plot moving until the end of the book, as always. I honestly had no idea what to expect for the ending, and I feel like they could have actually had this book as a standalone just by extending the ending just a little bit more, but I found out after the, I finished reading this book that there's going to be a second book coming out. So that's going to be exciting because I feel, I know that Amy and Megan probably have so much more to add to the story, so I'm actually excited on where they're taking it. Overall, it is well written. I really enjoy the characters. I am, look at the cover. The cover is beautiful. Look at that. And on top of that, look at her freaking dress. That, that's amazing. In the last sentence of this book, they actually mentioned the title These Broken Stars, in which it is such a beautiful end quote. And I can't really actually say it because it's a massive spoiler. I will have a bit more detailed review on my blog, elliemarie.com. I recently posted on my blog a post uh, listing all of my favorite movies and my favorite directors and the reason why I love the all these movies and directors specifically. And you guys could check that out. That's also in my blog. Uh, the links will be on the down bar below. So maybe, who knows, maybe your favorite film is in my list of favorite films. You never know. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. One is Bob's your uncle. I've heard that one so many times. Um, Bob's your uncle.